Well, here we are at Bendleby Station, guys. Uh, we arrived here late last night, just on sunset. So I didn't do any filming yesterday, because I wanted to um, set up the uh, campsite before it got dark. Uh, Bendleby Station is approximately three and a half hours north of Adelaide, just near the town of Oruru. On the northeastern side of Oruru, you take a uh, dirt road to the right, and it's roughly about 40 kilometres in to the uh, station. And it's a pretty good dirt road, actually. You easily get caravans in there. It's um, old classes a very good dirt road. To stay here per night, I think it's $25 per adult per night, and um, kids are free. And uh, if you want to do any four-wheel drive, uh, or any four -wheel driving while you're on the station, it costs you $95 for the entire stay. So it's just a one-off fee. And they've got over 150 kilometres of awesome four-wheel drive tracks, from beginners to intermediate to extreme. So um, today's plan is just to do some of the uh, scenic easy tracks and we'll slowly build up to the um, more difficult tracks and hopefully we'll get to do, we'll see how we go, I might do um, what's it called, Billy Goat track and um, possibly Pat's Peak but um, yeah we'll see how we go, I've only got the uh, D-Max here, it hasn't got a high lift um, suspension lift on it or anything, I've got bash plates but yeah no um, suspension lift so I don't want to really destroy it so we'll see how we go there. Um, another good thing they do here, they give you free firewood, so it's included in your, in your, um, in your fees, and it's all chopped up nice, it's all redwood, and I'll show you in a minute, it's just sitting behind the um, car here, they deliver it to you too, you don't even have to pick it up, so they've probably, I've probably got a tonne of firewood here for the week, and um, if you do run out, you can always purchase more at the um, homestead, but you're not allowed to collect it, uh, which is fair enough, they don't want you to collect their firewood that's lying around on the ground. So yeah, we'll um, get in, have a coffee and have breakfast, and then we'll get out and hit the tracks. Here's all the uh, firewood they give you for your stay here. We've already used a fair bit of it last night. We had a fire going last night, so yeah, be good. Nearly a ton of firewood here, maybe, or well, maybe at least three quarters of a ton. So. Um, yeah, that will keep us going for five nights. If not, we'll get some more. So we've got two sets of ranges. We've got the Benderby Range, yep. uh, which is all out to our north. Yep. Track skill level is all colour coded. So yep. in the Benderby Range, we've got some medium tracks, some easier sort of scenic tracks. Yep. Sort of like Gum Creek Drives, um, Pine Trees. Yep. Um, not so much of the Mallee, that's all out in the Hungry Ranges. But then we've got some beautiful um, hilltop drives and lookouts as well. Yep. Oh, cool. In the Hungry Ranges, it's all out to the southeast, yep. and track skill level is also colour coded as well. And then we also um, just score out of ten all the harder tracks. Oh, okay. So we've got ranges from eight out of ten up to ten out of ten, which is our Billy Goat and Pat's Peak, yes. which are quite yeah. hairy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's a good we'll challenge for everyone. <laughs> yeah. But again, there's some beautiful lookouts as well, yep. um, some nice picnic spots too. Oh, so. How many kilometres from these tracks do you have So it's approximately um, just over 210 kilometres. Yeah. Is that yeah. the both Hungry and... Yeah, yeah. both yeah. ranges, yep. yep. And then we've got campsites scattered through yep. both Vendorby and yep. Hungry yep. ranges. Too easy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, just going to let the tyres down to about 20. Probably 20 in the front. Maybe 22, 23 in the back. We've decided to start off on the intermediate track. We're on the um, Gum Gorge Trail. I'm not sure how many kilometres is, but they said it takes about three hours to do. And it's got some spectacular views of um, the Southern Philindres Ranges or the Bendelby Ranges. And um, yeah, a lot of, if you like light road, low range, there's a lot of low range hill climbs and descents. And it's um, yeah, various rocky sections and uh, rutted sections. Yeah, just take your time in low range and you yeah, have no problems. Like I said, I've lowered the tyres down to 20 pounds on the front and 22 to 23 on the back. Yeah, but it's absolutely stunning views when you get to the top of the hills. And um, yeah, basically you're following a ridge line around and you're up and down hills and then following um, riverbeds. 
some absolutely stunning large red river red gums. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, loving this um, Benderby Rangers, this first track, the Gum Gorge Trail. So um, let's get on to 11.30, so we'll try and find a nice um, stop at top of a hill somewhere for lunch. Uh, yeah, Jacob, I've got Jake on, Jacob on board and Zach. Yeah, it's, uh, this trail takes three hours, Jacob. It does a loop, you start at the um, kiosk or the homestead and it does a loop around the um, basically the boundary of Benderby Ranges. Stop for lunch and then after lunch you might do the Kokoda Trail. Just on the Kokoda Trail track. And um, yeah, this one's probably the only really low range four-wheel drive track on Bendelby. It's um, rutted. Uh, it's got steep sections. And it's a very tight, narrow track. Yeah, a lot of um, washouts as well. So, yeah, just take your time. Just to crawl through them all. This one's a bit off camera. I might stick the drone up here we'll um, get out and I'll show you what I'm looking at. This is absolutely spectacular. We've got 362 views of the Bendelby Ranges. Awesome. Just on uh, Gum Creek Drive at the moment, and uh, most of the tracks on the will be going a loop. And this one hooks up to Pine Creek Track or Pine Creek Drive, and um, yeah, we'll head up Pine Creek Drive, and that um, especially some spectacular views up there. And um, just coming on sunset, so I might have um, stand up there and watch um, the sunset. We're heading back and um, start the fire. But yeah, none of these tracks are really difficult. Um, most of them you can get away with not having low range, but it helps going down some of the steep hills and low range. But yeah, there are some really nice tracks. And um, this time of year, it's end of September now, and it's still a lot of green around. So they must have had a lot of rain over winter because yeah, all the hills are still got green tinged on. Yeah, some of these tracks are very stunning views. Check out the views from the lookout at the end of Gum Creek Drive. Absolutely stunning views across the Bendelby Ranges.
fire going and um, we've just got the pizza in the camp oven here so in a few minutes um, I'll open her up and um, yeah see what it's like. What do you think Jacob? Zach? Pizza? Sounds good tonight? And after dinner I think I'll cook you a um, cheesecake eh? And we can have um, cheesecake for morning smoko and lunch tomorrow. I'll just uh, lift the lid here on the pizza. Let's see what it's like. If we can get the... Oh yes, nearly. A couple more minutes. But we um, woke up to absolutely glorious morning again. Not a cloud in the sky. No. Hardly any breeze, so um, yeah. The plan today is to finish off a couple of tracks here at Bendelby Station I haven't been on yet. So we'll go up to the um, Kokoda Trail and swing past back onto the Link Track. And then there's another new track that I've just opened up. And the girl in the um, office says it's um, a spectacular view. So we'll do that track before heading back into base camp here and have lunch. We'll get some lunch, uh, some breakfast on, a coffee and then we'll head out on the tracks. Jacob's been um, cutting the firewood up each morning for us for the night and he's not doing too bad a job but he hasn't cut one piece yet, he's been having a go for about half an hour tonight Jacob. <laughs> that's it. Hit up the top of your hand. That, that's it. Oh. It's stuck. I know I'm not the only. I close my eyes at times.
while out and about on the tracks keep an eye out for wildlife there's um, plenty of wildlife in the Bendelby Ranges like kangaroos um, parrots um, shingleback lizards we saw plenty of those and a couple of small snakes not that they're too much to worry about and also there's uh, yeah, parrots and um, the odd wedge-tailed eagle so yeah keep your eyes out for the wildlife On Bedderby Station they have a um, small shop available for basic food items, a variety of beers and some whiskey and also a good selection of red wine and white wine. So if you run out they should have uh, what you need in the uh, little shop at the um, check-in office. Um, place on your bucket list of Bendelby Ranges. Full driving, camping, and views. Absolutely stunning. We'll get up to the top of this hill and um, we'll show you the view. I find it hard to not give in. track doesn't disappoint just look at the 360 degree views as it follows the ridge line along these hills in the distance before dropping off the end and heading back towards the plains to our campsite you were some of the best of things to find These stunning views. That's where we've come. You really got to put this on your bucket list, guys. Bendelby Ranges. It's got 37,000 acres of um, ranges with um, roughly 150 kilometres of four drive tracks ranging from easy to intermediate to um, extreme yeah, absolutely stunning views yeah, it's a working cattle st uh, working cattle station working sheep station but they do allow um, animals on the property so if you want to bring your dog along that's all good and they also allow off-road motorbikes if you want to bring as long as they're uh, registered you can bring your motorbike and also um, drones, they're allowed here as long as you follow the CASA guidelines. No flying at night or higher than I think it's 120 metres. And they just ask you don't fly over campers or annoy people. But yeah, definitely put Bendelby Rangers on your bucket list guys. Look at this. Just light the fire. Always go with these um, butane torches, it's easy. Uh. There we go. Oh. 
fire lip. So tonight I think we'll cook um, hamburgers, eh, Jacob? Hamburgers and um, do you want apple crumble tonight? Yeah. All right, we'll cook apple crumble and um, after Six after dinner. Camp favourite, Jacob. Mm. Mm. Camp favourite pancakes in the morning. Good, are they? Mm. All right, taste maple syrup. Do you have Jacob's favourites with honey? But who left the honey at home? Mm. Dad. <laughs> That's okay. Maple syrup's the next. Best thing, eh? All good? Mm -hmm. How many more do you want? One more. One more? Okay, I'll cook you one now. guys we just packed up and heading back to Adelaide now so I'll um, let you know I've done a little bit of damage but not to the vehicle it's mainly to the two side steps and I'll just yeah, show you I've got a couple of dings and broke the plastic end pieces but they're only the OEM aluminium ones so I'll replace them when I can I'll show you the damage yeah so this plastic is just plastic end piece Yeah, this one too. It got a rock under there. It's bent that up. And if you have a look, there's a few scrapes under here. Can you help me? All right. Sorry, Jacob. Jacob's just had a shower. Just check it in there, and I'll get it in a sec, Jacob. And uh, just under here, just got a bit of a few scrapes under here. But yeah. Nothing, nothing major. And then, I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, I've got a bend here. Just where, and a side step. Yeah, just the rocks hit up under there. Up and that, too bad. One thing I do have to um, fix is where the um, winch hook hits that, well, that's really low, so the winch hook hit that quite a few times. And uh, as you can see, it's um, the lowest part of the car, so I need to make another hook I can sit up here when I'm doing rock climbing. And yeah, the um, recovery points also get a, got a ding, but that's about it. Apart from that, do you max when all right? Well, guys, look at this stunning SA Outback scenery behind me. If you haven't got this uh, place on your bucket list, I highly recommend putting the Benderby Ranges high up on the list. It's an absolutely stunning place to um, camp and also for the scenery and also the full drive experience. Like I said, they've got over 150 kilometres of um, tracks here to explore and um, yeah, I'd recommend at least two to three days to see it all. I've been told you can do it in a day, but yeah, you'd, all you do would be is driving all day and yeah, you wouldn't enjoy it, I think. So two to three days or more would be perfect. Um, some facilities here at the, um, they've got a kiosk at the reception area which has um, all the basics like um, whiskey, wine, beer, and um, also they have um, ice blocks, ice and milk. I'm not sure about bread, I think they've got bread too. And um, just basics like um, spaghetti, and rice, noodles, things like that, cans of things. If you forget anything, and um, 
at the campsites they give you a free fire which is included in your camping fee and it's all chopped up nice pieces so you don't even have to chop it, it goes straight on the fire so yeah highly recommend the boundary ranges guys so if you got this far thank you very much and until next time bye for now enjoy the camping lifestyle and leave no trace bye take it easy Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, hit the bell icon which will encourage me to create more content for you guys. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video.